Well hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. Like I've mentioned in the previous video, I got a couple of items for myself over Christmas to upgrade my machine. And this video is the second one in the upgrade series. So what did I do? Let's check it out. Our next item that we got is a dot or SSD drive. Um, it is a 240 gig SSD drive. I got this for my uh, big PC so that we can um, run the windows on a SSD. So one thing I never got for my computer when I upgraded it in 2014. So there we go. An SSD drive for my PC. The time when I actually built the PC in 2014, I didn't have money for a case. So I used a very old plain looking case. So now I've got something modern, something with RGB lighting, and it's the RAID Max Neon. So first off, let's look at the, the I.O. We have the power button, which is over here. We've got a USB 3 port, um, my, uh, earphone jack, microphone, and normal uh, USB port. Um, and this, I think, is your controller button for your RGB fans, for cycling through your colors. At the back, so you've got place for your power supply. We've got one, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bays where you can put your graphics card. Place for your uh, extra fan for extraction. We've got acrylic side panels and acrylic in the front. And then in there, inside, is all your screws and everything that's necessary. Nice. Okay, so there's your three RGB fans. Oh, and one thing that I've noticed on this case now, <laughs> it doesn't have any place for an optical drive. The next one we are going to do now is building the PC cases over. I'm going to build my old PC case into my new PC case and also install the SSD into the case. But before I can do that, I first have to put Windows 10 on the SSD. And since I don't have an optical drive on the new machine, I have to still use the old machine as it is. Firstly, back up everything I have, which I've done. Everything's been backed up that I needed to back up. I'm going to install the SSD now will by just basically connect it up to the box. Then do a fresh Windows 10 installation onto the new SSD. Then I'm going to disconnect the old drive, build everything over to the new machine, and then I'm going to format the old one so that I have a terabyte HDD and an SSD only for the operating system as well as for all the drivers. This is the old PC setup. Uh, let me just move like this. So, as you can see, this cable management is atrocious. It looks terrible. So, um, I've installed the SSD now. And I'm going to quickly load Windows 10 on the SSD. And then we're going to build this PC into the new case. And hopefully, it's going to look much, much better. Okay guys, so I installed Windows 10 onto the new SSD and now it's time to build my PC into the new case. So let's get going. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is to take out all the components out of the box and then clean everything. I mean that thing's been built in 2014, it's full of dust. So I'm first going to dust off everything, clean all the components and then we're going to start rebuilding it back into the new case.
So let's look at the components that I have on my machine. For a graphics card, we've got the EVGA, GeForce, G, uh, well, GTX 1050 Ti. And it's a perfect card for me for doing what I need to do. Plays games and everything. My power supply is a GX2 Pro 750 watt power supply from Coolmaster. Also a very nice power supply. My hard drive is Western Digital, one terabyte hard drive that I've had for a long time now. That uh, was an old case. So now we're not replacing it, we're just adding the SSD. So this will run my music, my pictures, all that nitty gritty shit, while the operating system and all my drivers and programs will be on the new SSD. I am running 16 gig RAM, it's DDR3 Kingston's, it's 8 gigs, uh, this is 4 gig or 4 gig RAM chip, I've got 4 of them, so I'm running 16 gigs on my machine. <sighs> Last but not least, Z97 PC made MSI motherboard that I'm running, and it has a i5 core processor on it, and um, yeah, it's only like second generation, so it's a very old machine, like I said, I built it in 2014, so um, yeah, I would like to upgrade that one next year. So, everything's clean, let's build it onto the new machine.
Okay guys, so all the components are in, everything is tight. Now it's just for cable management and connecting everything up. So uh, I'm going to do that now and then I'll show you what uh, the box looks like when all the lights are on. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. And if you subscribe, remember to hit that small bell icon just to notify you of any of my further uploads. But otherwise, see you on the next one guys. Cheers.